This is the E-Roll Deep sleeping mat and it is a self-inflating mat and you may be thinking how in the world can that happen since there's no air pump included. Well I'm going to show it to you. This is not my first mat like this um, so I'm quite familiar with how they operate and some do's and don'ts with them. So it comes with a couple of patches should you get a hole in your airbed and it comes nicely bundled up and it has these clips so you can uh, roll it back and uh, potentially stuff it back into the, the bag if you get it tight enough. So here's what it looks like. It's just a very flat mat and then the pillow portion has a part where you have to manually blow it up. The pillow part um, you are have to do manually, but here it is. So down here you're going to see a little nozzle, and what you do, actually you're going to see two of them. When you open it up, you're going to start hearing air flow in, and it's going to start expanding. How is that happening? There is foam, compressed foam in here, and when you open it up and you release the vacuum I guess whatever you want to call it it naturally expands and that pulls in the air so I'm going to demonstrate that I'll just do this one side first okay. now I'm going to do this side I'm going to hold it up closer to the camera so maybe you can hear it Do you hear that? That's the sound of air going inside of it. Now it takes a little bit of time to fully expand. Um, and you could even help things along, I guess, by blowing into it. However, this is where I have to caution you. Um, we had another one of these that my son was using. He really, really liked it, but he thought, hey, um, why don't I put more air into it than it was designed to hold? So he blew it up till it was like real puffy, like a traditional air mattress. And my son is only 70 pounds. Um, he's just a tall, skinny kid. So I thought, well, that's not how it's designed to be used, but you're pretty skinny, so maybe it'll be okay. Well, it popped. So do not put more air into this than it is designed to have, uh, or you will pop it. So once it has inflated, and it, it only is going to inflate about to an inch in diameter, then you close these up. And then what you have is a, a little bit more padding than you would have had before. This is great on cots. Um, you can use it like we do just on the ground in a tent. Um, it's good for a kid's sleeping mat as well. Uh, it's just really nice. So then when you're ready to pack it up again, you unscrew these things and starting from that side really you should. Um, you just roll it tight and compress it. Um, kind of, not unlike how you roll up a sleeping bag except for you're just compressing the air out of this and then close these back up so air can't get back in and you're ready to go for next time. But the material is... Um, slick not too it's not rough at all it's it's fairly soft on the skin but I would put at least a sheet down because it will make your skin sweat